Hello everyone and welcome back to Steel Division 2. Today we're doing part 43 of playing every division in the game. We are with the 12 SS Panzer Hitler Juden. I would usually say this is a good division. I saw success with these guys, uh, but right now the German tank divisions are not doing quite well. So uh, I guess we will see. I really, really struggled with the 5th SS and I've made countless, I tried to make countless videos. This time I'm just going to roll with the very first video uh, and battle that I get with the 12th SS. And we're not going to redo the, the battle group, uh, but I think I might go for Vanguard. Hmm. <laughs> and <laughs> I am... I've always liked to play balance, but it doesn't look like it's working anymore. And I think, uh, well, I mean, it looks like 12 SS actually has some good, decent opening options here. That could make us uh, strive for a balance option. Let's, let's just look at what the cards we've been given here. I guess we are going to need some uh, infantry recon as usually. Well, we might get back to this and remove some. Uh, we'll see later. It doesn't have lots of infantry. The infantry mostly sucks. At least they are fanatical, so they won't surrender. Three of these, four of these. I think we're going to use a lot of them in phase A. And then for phase B, we're going to have these guys. And uh, phase C, they could come in in half tracks. No, you know what? I, I think I prefer speed over half tracks. And what we'll do is we'll have... Oh. Hmm. We're already running out. I wanted this. Yeah, I'll obviously get the pioneers. Like that. Sorry, one in phase C. And this will be my CQC. Yeah, I guess we could manage with uh, with a balance deck. We could also go for for a vanguard deck here, like that. Flamers aren't my favorite right now, but. Uh, for phase A, I guess they could they could do the tricks for sure. This dude is with, uh, and then we could have eighteen infantry for B phase. Mm, good recon. Uh, no. Let's leave this and see what, what else we can get. In terms of tanks, we don't have lots of fast stuff. Obviously, we're playing the German. Uh, but we do have cheap tanks, so there you go. This will do. With these two. Wait, man. I mean, we could take it just because. Two one star, two one star. It's the same thing. Let's take it. We'll take Whitman. Uh, we can take these in A, so we'll take um, two Panther D, double vetted. And I guess this is going to be, um, this is going to be our tank tab for the whole game. Um, we'll see, we'll see, we'll come back to it. IG-18, uh, buff, no, I don't want them. These guys I'm going to take. Plus I'm going to take, um, I'm going to take some slow, expensive ones as well, just to, uh, probably as reinforcement. And then, you know what, I'm going to take another card. 
Uh, no. I'll take some flamers. Yes. I might... Mm, I don't know... Yeah, I'll take another card of Machine Gun 42. <clears throat> so I got the expensive one. The double vetted one, I mean. Uh, these are going to be used for the main push of uh, my Vanguard deck. I got this. It's going to be used for reinforcement. And I got these guys who are just going to be used to take the front line along with the flame chores. And I think we're going to go for this in the support tab. 34 already. Anti-tank is not doing well in terms of availability. Expensive. Okay, this is good. One expensive, six low cost. I think that's that should be uh, that should go well. And four mobile for B face, just in case we get to B face. I need some more uh, anti air artillery. Obviously, we're just gonna take the uh, 81 millimeter air, quite expensive, uh, but we do have the good kind. So I guess we could take this and um, how many cards? Only one card. I'm going to need cheap stuff. I think wow, there's only just one though. That sucks. One, one. This one is faster than this guy. Same loadout pretty much. Uh, I, I do enjoy these guys now. I guess I could go with that. And I could even take more planes. Okay, two in phase B, two in phase B as well. This guy is faster. I guess I could go with that. But if I remove my B phase plane, what else could I bring to the table? 47. Okay, I could take more tanks, I guess. Uh, I could take more artillery, more anti-air, more recon. <clears throat> Do I go that way? It's a harsh way to go the recon way and spam your enemy to death with that. If it goes to face C, but let's be honest, if it goes to face C, I'm pretty much fucked. Hmm. What else is here that could potentially help us out? Not too expensive either. I guess I could use more mortars. Um, debating here what I should get Wait, let's just take four tigers instead for phase B go with numbers that one star won't make a big difference okay yeah I'm gonna choose anti-air um, I just don't know which one yet. This could be good. Uh, it could also be potentially bad. Uh, it's a lot of point. The enemy could just uh, put some planes in there. Um, I guess we'll take it. It's a lot of expensive stuff at first. But I want to be, uh, I want to have, I know I'll never use all of this in phase A, but I want to have a counter to everything. So, uh, I got infantry counter, I got uh, anti-tank counter, I got support counter, I got recon counter, I got airplane counter, 
and I got uh, airplanes myself. Yeah, I think we're I, I think we're actually gonna roll with that. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Twelve SS video in a Vanguard. Well, that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be weird. Got nothing in C. Not even one card of infantry. <sighs> okay, guys. Uh, we're going to go with that. So, um, I'll see you during the battle. Goodbye.